Hey everybody, I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead and today I've got some really, really, really stinky news to share. Yeah. Tis true, the news that I have to share is not good. Not anywhere close to being remotely good. It's really gonna be bad, but before we do that, I wanna go ahead and show you guys some other stuff that we've been doing. Family stuff, fun stuff, not everything is doom and gloom, so let's get to that first. Hey, hot lady. Are you uh, showing our miserable excuse for a garden? Yes. We could yes, not, I am. we cannot win the war against grass. No, it's horrible. However, it just keeps coming back. You got some clothing over there, kiddo. However, I got some free cucumber plants from a friend of ours. There's a cucumber on it. Oh my gracious. Yep. Our tomatoes did not fare any better, really. No, they did not. Um, we, we've got, I mean, they're, and they're really small plants, but you know, we put this trellis here so we can tie them up, but they, they're not to the point of being tied yet. I'm, I mean, this one can get tied here, but. Um, well, one weird thing is that the plants closer to the house over there are bigger. grew bigger. But and these they got smaller. Well, and these progressively got smaller. Yeah, I don't get it. There are tomatoes on, but I just think we're gonna have, the grass is taking all the nutrients. That's what's doing it. This was supposed to be a turnip. What in the world happened there? I don't know. That's not a turnip. Now these here are her favorite. They wait, well, they don't really wait very patiently, no. but We've got a bunch of the little snacking size, the cherry tomatoes, and there's a bunch on and a bunch of flowers, but they still gotta wait till they're red there, sister. Gotta wait. This is good. We do have green peppers, and I just think our growth is gonna be stunted because we could not beat back this grass. No. It's shameful, I tell you, shameful. Very shameful. I'm gonna show them. This is pretty much all we've got to harvest no, so far. Well, yeah, that's, well. <laughs> We have a few beans and a few peas, some bell peppers. They're not ready to harvest. Not yet. The cucumber stands alone yeah. in a salad of one. All right, so tell me what you're doing here with our garlic plants, because they did okay. Less grass okay. here, but that's probably because we tilled it up much earlier before the winter. Yeah, still not real pleased with the growth on those. Um, however, I'm cutting off the scapes. What is the scape? Other than when you really want to get away from something, <laughs> but um, oh. when when it this will this will be the seeds, so it's it's the flower part of the garlic. So why are you breaking them off? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Why? Well, then why the heck are you doing it? <laughs> um, the ga the friend of ours that gave us these told us to cut all of the scapes off except for one. And I can't remember why. We gotta figure out what's going on with this escapism. Can't, re can't remember why. One cucumber to rule them all. One cucumber to find them. One cucumber to... and bind them. All right, now this is an absolute treat and joy and funny uh, because oh we're in the manure pile. And lo and behold. We have squash growing in our manure pile. Tons of it. Yeah, we couldn't get it to grow in our garden, but it's growing in the manure pile. Look at all that. Is there any to pick? Oh, uh, not yet. There's tons of flowers. There's tons of flowers. Oh We're gonna gosh. get a massive amount of squash by accident. That's amazing. I was I was actually really disappointed that the, the squash seeds didn't grow in the garden. Who knew? And the, the cows won't eat it because the leaves are prickly. It's prickly, they won't touch it. I remembered what you need to do with the scapes and, and why, why and why you cut them off all but one. Now, you cut them off so that it makes the bulb thicken up. It makes it bigger, it makes it fuller. Um, you also, don't throw these away, because you can chop these up and use them just like you would as garlic because they taste just like garlic. You can also grill them um, just like this as a side dish for whoever loves, uh, loves garlic. So, don't throw these away. Hey there, honey. What exactly you got going on? I'm fixing my bicycle. Your bike that you got for such a good bargain? Yep. You got that at a garage sale for, what was it, $5? Seven. Seven bucks? Yep. Heck yeah. 
But uh, the seat is not at the correct level. No. It's um, going to be really tight. I know you're not supposed to do this, but it's yeah. going to be really tight because this thing will fall down. That's why I'm fixing it. Oh, you generally don't fix things like that with a hammer, though. I don't care. <laughs> you ready? No, I'm ready. Are Let's you see. ready? Am I ready? Are you ready? Yes. There she goes. Woohoo! I kind of feel like we need some music for this. Still can ride a bicycle! Okay, this may sound really strange, but I don't like turning my bicycle on gravel. Um, because when I was a kid, I was seven or eight years old, it was Easter morning. I did that. I turned pretty sharp on gravel and I ate it. I ate the gravel. I had four stitches on the in outside of my lip and five stitches on the inside of my lip. Let's see those hands. You got bicycle hands. I do have bicycle hands. Oh yeah. I was working on my bike, my bicycle. Have fun, baby. Yeah. This truck, the truck, the family truck, the family truckster, uh, a few days ago started making kind of a squealing sound and then and I thought, well, that's really not good. So I had a friend come over and they said, well, maybe you need to change out these uh, pulleys, which we did and, uh, and then suggested another thing and it didn't go away. And then we checked water pumps and we checked everything that would make a kind of squeal. But then the next day it started to making a more of a, a thumping-ish sound. And uh, so I was getting really kind of nervous at that point because it wasn't the alternator, wasn't the water pump, wasn't a lot of the, the normal stuff. And so um, I took it into the mechanic in town and he said, I got some bad news for you. He said, I found metal shavings in your oil. And he went on to explain that they don't do engine rebuilds and they don't do putting new engines in. And so I figured I'd turn this sucker on show you what it sounds like because right now we're looking at the truck as being out of commission or I find a, a, a engine in a junkyard and then pay somebody to put it in because that is far beyond my pay grade or if I had somebody else do it for real it's like five thousand dollars and I gotta tell you what I don't have five thousand dollars so not gonna turn the truck on long but you guys who are mechanics out there Maybe you can confirm that, yeah, this is probably a big problem. Uh, but here, let's, uh, let's open this sucker up and give her a go. Well, give her a go. You gonna open the hood? No, they can hear, oh, they can hear it just fine. Okay. Hear that? All right, shut her down. Not good, people. Not good indeed, but I'll tell you what. It's just stuff. But we also have even a little more bad news. So now that uh, David's girlfriend is okay medically, she's fine, it's just gonna take some time to heal some things up, uh, I feel like it's, uh, it's okay now to talk about the ATV. And again, it's just stuff. However. <laughs> it's totaled. It's totaled. We took it to the place that we got it from and they put in an estimate and it was far exceeding the cost of a new one. Mm -hmm. So it's just stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just stuff is stacking up a lot at one time. Yep. And I'll tell you what though, this is the truth. And so you don't think we're whining or whatever because it is just stuff. Yeah. The way I look at it is, is if this is the worst it gets, there's a whole lot of people that have it a whole lot worse than us and praise God and we thank him that if this is the worst it is, we're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, so fun stuff, around the house stuff, family stuff, animal stuff. Uh, not so fun stuff. Not so fun stuff. I feel like I've got to be done with this video or else I'm going to cry. Black clouds will just start following us around. Yeah, but once again, it's just stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So anyway, that's it for today. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day. <laughs>